Hello, Professor Wyman here. I'm going to go through filtering in Jamovi. Um, I'm going to do some pretty basic filtering, but you can definitely expand on this and get more complicated. Uh, so first of all, you can see that I have a data set here with an intervention as one variable. So there's experimental and control. And you could also double click to see how this is set up. Um, and then I have procrastination, which is a total procrastination score. It's set up as a continuous variable, and that's our dependent variable. So our expectation is that the intervention is going to have an effect on procrastination. I also have age, so I have a demographic variable here. Now you can see that there's some missing um, spots. When somebody is missing age, if that's a demographic variable, you can just put that that person has a, you know, that their age is missing. So if you do a demographic table, you could include how many people didn't complete their age. Um, but for the intervention and for procrastination, those are our variables of interest. So we want to filter them out and identify that they didn't complete the analysis or didn't complete the, the process. Uh, this is going to, the way that you handle this, the way that you handle missing data very much depends on your personal philosophy on missing data um, or your instructor's philosophy on missing data, but also the plan that you had ahead of completing your project. So for you, as my Psych 144 students, I want you to filter people out who did not complete one of your variables of interest just for simplicity. Um, so how we would do this is we want to filter out people who um, have missing responses or missing uh, missing assigned conditions in this case uh, for our two variables. So I am in data and I'm gonna click on filters. It's gonna create a filter column and you can see that there's a green check mark that indicates that the um, person scores who are on that row are not going to be filtered out. It means they're going to be kept. What we want to do is set it up so that it creates an X, a red X, if they do not meet the condition that we're setting. So if I were to put um, that I wanna make sure that they are removed if the intervention is blank, then I need to set that in my filter. Uh, so this F sub X, this is the formula editor. You can click into this. You can also just type it out. But um, if you have, you know, variable names or complicated, or you want to make sure that you're not misspelling, you can just go there, double click on what you want to do. So we're going to use intervention. And I'm going to use an exclamation point equals and a double um, quotation marks. What that does is it says that you want to keep the responses that are not, which is the exclamation point and the equal sign, not missing. And so the missing is the double quotations, just like you would use in Sheets or Excel for formula writing. Um, but for Jamovi, it's gonna be this not equals and then the double quotations. You can see here that there's green check marks, except for where it is missing. And now you can see it's grayed out. So we're not gonna use this person's uh, data because for some, some reason we didn't record what intervention they were a part of. Um, and so that has a red X next to it. But I also wanna filter out people who didn't respond to procrastination. So I can go back to filter or I can click up here. You can do this multiple ways. Um, you can just go ahead and add your additional filter here. So notice it has a filter, filter two. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing for procrastination. So procrastination. I'm just going to write it out. Um, and then I'm going to do my exclamation point equal sign double quotations. And you can see that it's filtering out procrastination. Now, the thing with filters is that um, you can click to activate them or make them inactive. So if it's gray, that means that the filter is off. And then you can also hide the responses that um, have been filtered out. So if you want to take out this row, this person who we didn't get their procrastination score, if you click the little I, then it goes away. Um, so that is helpful for various different situations. Um, you can also just leave it uh, visualized there as well. Uh, and then the nice thing in Jamovi is that when you make these changes, it will apply to whatever analysis you have saved. So if you had an analysis saved here, it would just update automatically. Uh, that's all I have for this video and hope that helps.